PDF. And I'm going to say, so single file, multiple files. I'm going to go to multiple files and I'm going to say combine files. And I'm going to go next. I'm going to add files. So I'm going to come to my computer. I already have a folder here that has all these images I want to put together. So I'm just going to select all of the images that I need and say open. So it's going to pop all the images onto the screen. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to move these around so they are in the order. Sometimes it's hard to move things, but um, in the order that I want them to be. So you can spend some time with that. Make sure your pagination is correct. And then when you have something that you like, then you can go to combine. Do, 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 do. Takes a minute. It's checking them off as we go. This will just take a few more minutes. I suppose I could have done this with fewer files as an example. But no, I had to show off. I had to put like 20 files in here. All right, but it goes pretty fast. And these are pretty large files actually. So, woo, we're gonna see here that now they are in a binder and this is called binder one PDF. And they're all going to be, you scroll down, tra -da 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 -da. they're all here, just lined up like this. Now, if you put in side-by-side um, -side pages, which is I, what I do is spreads, then they're also going to read like spreads that you can just scroll down like this, or you could, you know, go however you're looking at a PDF, you could um, flip through them. And then I'm just going to call this something. So I don't want it called binder one. I'm going to go file save as, save as, and then it's going to give me some options. So I want to put it, oh, it said reduce file size, and I actually do want to do that, so I'll come back and I'll go, whoop, oh, it's already saving file. File, save as, do, 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 do. I'm going to say reduce file size. That's usually a good way to go. It should put it into a nice size for you to send an email, um, and I do want it to go in this folder. And I'm going to call it, so this is uh, Stabby Samples. I always put my last name on these things. Sometimes I'll put the date on it. Um, and usually if it's, if it's like a PDF of my book, I'm going to go, if you're Stabby, and I'm going to put my last name. You can do underscore as well. Um, and today's date is 4.15. So I do four, 15, 20, making my dog cry. And I just hit save. And then that's gonna reduce the PDF file size. Do, 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 do. Reduce file size. File size successfully reduced from 84 megabytes to six megabytes. Now, um, and you can tell it to be even smaller than that if you fiddle around here in your options. What my agent says, he doesn't like to send anything larger than five megabytes. That's what his request is. So I'd work this down until it was five megabytes. Um, that way it can just be attached to an email instead of being something that would have to go to a Google Drive or some, some other way of opening. The less clicks that you have an editor or art director or agent making, the better. You want files that look pretty but also aren't so massive that they can't open them. And you also don't want them to have to open separate images, like one image, look at it, close it. Another image, look at it, close it. Um, they want one-stop shopping. These are busy people. Just give them everything in one PDF. So I'm going to close this out and let's go here. So it saved both the binder and the, if you're stabby, witness 41520 right here. And if I click on this, do 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 and uh, now I have, yay, a PDF. So that's what that looks like. 
<laughs> and of course, if all your files were the same size, that's even smarter to make sure they're the same size. When they go in here, they'll look nice and consistent. So I will probably go back and do that in Photoshop just to make sure all my files are the same, the same size. So it's not like, ooh, small, small, big, oh, gigantic, tiny, tiny. Um, but that is how you combine images into a single PDF. Ta-da! You did it. See you later. Bye.